Hi there, it's Rick on Tesla and welcome to update number nine on my least to invest test journey. Just before we get into it, I just want to say thank you for those kind people that have used my referral link to get themselves some credits to use in the Tesla store. It's enabled me to get some supercharger miles and also a couple of bits from the Tesla store as well. So you might spot in the background there this lightning bolt. Let me just grab that for you. Okay, I can't see my camera so I have no way of knowing how well framed this is, but Oh, it's nice and shiny and it's really cool. So thank you very much for those who've used my referral link. And without further ado, let's have a look at this update number nine. So this is the last six months. So when we last left off, we were here at 225 in early June. And it's been quite a ride for the last few months. So we carried on with that trajectory for a while. And then we had a bit of a correction. And then we almost touched up at 300. We got, I think, to 299 followed them by a, another correction and quite a sustained drop over the last few months but then a gentle recovery so as ever with tesla it's been up and down but ultimately we were at 225 last we're now at 250 so overall not too bad so let's have a look at what's happened in this last quarter so news wise there's not been that much that's happened actually i mean that people have downgraded the stock and prompted a little bit of a sell-off there's been the Cybertruck productions finally begun. And then after that, we had some price cuts. We've got the Model 3 Highland coming out. And then this hot off the press. So Tesla stock lights up S&P 500, 5% gain, which is due to the impressive number of cars that were shipped from the Shanghai factory. But overall, as far as Tesla goes, there's not really been much happening in the last few months. So let's have a look now at the shares tracker on my website, which is updated hourly. We'll see that I originally bought $72,883 worth of Tesla shares back in June 2021, which bought me 362 shares at the time. And I bought at what the share price was equivalent to $200. And now the share price is at 251. So those shares are worth 91,000, so it's at $18,310 profit, which in theory would pay for two thirds of my entire three year lease. So two years would have already been paid for just with this getting to 251. So if that can increase to back to near 300, then it will more than pay for my entire lease. So yeah, pretty good quarter overall. Let's now have a look at the spreadsheet, which you're probably familiar with by now. So let's plug in the latest share price 251.49 and then bring these formulas across. Okay, so a 12% increase in the last quarter and overall 25% up. And as we like to do, if we extrapolated this out for the rest of the lease period, which isn't that long left really, we get to $332 in the next nine months and that would be fantastic. But let's see, let's we'll get rid of that. And then we'll just have a look down at the calculations down here. So this sell for price, I need to update that to point to the latest one. And pretty much as the website has worked out, I'm currently in a profit of $18,000 or £13,000, which pays for two thirds of my lease. So I'm very happy with that. Let's hope for another good quarter where we get back towards 300 and we've only got three more quarters left to go so let's see where we're up to at the end here not that i'm going to sell immediately at the end but just to see as an experiment we'll draw this to a close three years on from the purchase date of 8th of june 2021 so make sure you stay tuned until then and don't forget if you are thinking of buying a tesla to consider using my referral link so you can get some supercharger miles and some funky stuff from the shop like that tesla decanter all right i'll see you in the next video